Question. In which year did the United Nations UN designate July 12th as Malala Day to honor the young woman who advocated for women's education? Option A. 2012. Option B. 2013. Option C. 2014. Option D. 2015. D. Correct answer 2013 every year on July 12th. International Malala Day is observed on the birthday of Malala 2013. The United Nations UN designated July 12th as Malala Day to honor the young woman who advocated for women's use of Zai became an international symbol of the fight for girls 2012. She was shot for opposing Taliban restrictions on female education in December 2014. She became the youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize. B is the correct answer. Question. India and which country started a bilateral trade in rupees on the 11th of July? Option A Bangladesh. Option B Nepal. Option C Sri Lanka. Option D Bhutan. D. Correct answer Bangladesh bilateral trade in rupees started by India and the 11th of July. It was launched in Dhaka at an event jointly organized by Bangladesh Bank and the Indian High Commission. From July 11th, India and Bangladesh will trade in the Indian rupee along with the normal transaction method in the US dollar. The trade agreement will be applicable only to export amounts from Bangladesh in Indian rupees, while balance imports from India will be settled in US dollars. The trade and transactions with India on the Bangladesh side will be handled by Eastern Bank and Sonali Bank Limited, while the operations on the Indian side will be handled by the State Bank of India and ICICI is India's largest trading partner in South Asia and India is Bangladesh's second largest trading partner in A is the correct answer. Question. Abhijit Chakravarti has been appointed as MD and CEO of which of the following? Option A. SBI Card. Option B. Axis Bank. Option C. HDFC Bank. Option D. IDFC Bank. Correct answer SBI Card Abhijit Chakravarti has been appointed as MD and CEO of SBI Card. India's largest credit card issuer, SBI Cards and Payment Services SBI Card, has appointed Abhijit Chakravarti as MD and CEO for two years. He is currently a deputy MD at SBI. He will assume charge as MD and CEO of SBI Card on the 12th of August. He will replace Rama Mohan Rao. A is the correct answer. Question. Which of the following will be made compulsory for the MSME pharma sector in a phased manner? Option A Schedule E. Option B Schedule K. Option C Schedule M. Option D Schedule V. Correct answer Schedule M Special squads have been formed to take stringent action against pharmaceutical companies manufacturing spurious and fertilizers. Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia said the regulatory authorities have begun the inspection and audit of said that 137 firms were inspected. Action has been taken against 105 has been stopped at 31 firms. Cancellation and suspension of products have been issued against 50 firms. Schedule M will be made compulsory for the MSME pharma sector in a phased manner. This will help in quality. C is the correct answer. Question. National Fish Farmers Day Meet 2023 concluded at which place? Option A. Kanpur. Option B. Madurai. Option C. Chennai. Option D. Mahabalipuram. Correct answer Mahabalipuram National Fish Farmers Day Meet 2023 concluded at Department of Fisheries along with other stakeholders organized the National Fish Farmers Day Meet and Startup Conclave that has been organized on 10th July and 11th July in Fish Farmers Day 2023 given an opportunity to recognize the contribution of fish growers as well as their dedication to sustainable fisheries. The dedication of fish farmers, startups, Innovation in adopting modern techniques and improving fish productivity have been highlighted during the National Fish Farmers Day. Main aim of the meeting is to create an ecosystem to discuss the ways to sustainably manage fisheries. D is the correct answer.